Hello and welcome to the hashtag winning team. It's been a while since we updated you on which players have the best stats in the Premiership. So before the sides return to domestic competition, we thought we would update you on who the outstanding players are so far this season, according to our friends from Opta. As Ben stretches over there and warms up for the show, I'd like to remind you that this side is based purely on statistics alone. But you can let us know what you think using at BT Sport Rugby. Behind me, we have the team that you last saw. And in total, we have five changes to make, but some of these guys have also switched positions too. Ooh, amazing. So, starting in the front row, Mako and David, they hand on to their places. But we have a change at the tight head with Dan Cole coming in for his Leicester teammate, Mullapola. He drops out. The highest, I'll move it down a little bit for you. No, actually, I can't reach that. <sighs> The highest scoring front row forward is David Ward, who is a top ball carrying hooker in the competition. Into the locks, and there is no change at four, as the sole Saintsman to win a place at this stage, Samu Manoa, hangs on to his place. Samu is joined by the highest scoring player in the Premiership as a whole, Nick Easter of Quinns. Unfortunately, Kitchener loses out there. He drops down. In comes Minty. This means, for the time being, Nick is at five and eight, which isn't a surprise given his versatility, but we will change that in a second. Nick has made more carries and offloads than anyone else in the league. Into the loose forwards, and there is a bit of rotation. Blair Cowan moves across to six in the place of Binny Vullapola. I'll move Blair into there. But Billy moves to eight in the place of Nick Easter. This is getting a bit confusing as we see there, who is now at five. And a new entry at seven is England's captain, Chris Robshaw. We can't have Cowan playing in both positions. The highest scoring player in the back row is Billy, who has made a team high 91 carries this season, beating 17 defenders. Our ever present halfbacks, they remain in place. Danny is by far the most effective scrum half in the league in terms of carries, meters, defenders beaten, clean breaks, and tries. George has made more meters and tackles than any other 10 in the league. He is also the top point scorer with 142, making him the top marksman. At 11, we have a slight change. The old man, Mark Cueto. He gets on the left wing, comes in for David Lemmy. Only David Strettel has made more clean breaks this season than him with nine. Billy Twelve Trees hangs on to his place, but also brings his centre partner, Henry Trinder, with him. Nicky Gonover's gone out of the midfield for Leicester Tigers. And on the other wing, injured Marlon Yard cannot hang on to his spot any longer without any game time and is replaced by Samesa Rockadaguni. He takes his place there on the right wing. Samesa tops the charts for defenders beaten so far with 34. And finally, there's no surprise at fullback. Mike Brown hangs on to his place with great all-round stats, as he always does. Next week, we'll have a look at the hashtag winning team of round 13, when many of these guys will be on international duty. So we well could see some big changes. Thanks for watching.